Hi everyone, welcome back to DevDoge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. Continuing our algorithm, now we have to think about something that we probably noticed here. Every time we are using condition, we have to use a boolean. But the problem is, how do we get a boolean? By now we are using true and false directly in memory, but how do we achieve the result of a condition to true or false? If I want to compare two ages, how do I know if one age is greater or equal than another age. And this is uh, achievable through the conditional, uh, sorry, relational operators. So let's uh, create another class here, out insert, and then Java class, conditionals02. So we are going to create here PSVM. And remember that I said comments sometimes they are useful. Right now, I'm going to show you all the relational operators that we have. How do we compare if something is equal to something else? In Java, we use double equals. How do we compare if they are different? Like this, first the exclamation mark and then the equal sign. How do we know if something is greater than something else? How do we know if something is greater or equal than something else? How do we know if something is lower or less than, less or less than, like, this. So basically, you can come here and you search for relational operators, Java, because each programming language they have their own way. And you can either go to images and probably they will give you a very nice uh, table. So less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, equal and not equal to. Okay, so now that we know the relational operators, how do we use them? So one thing that you need to know is that relational operators will always give you back true or false. So the result of using uh, relational operators will be a boolean. It means that the variable that you would need to store the result should be either a boolean or you can just print directly into the console. So let's do something, let's say salary. So let's give here a salary um salary manager and then we give here five thousand and then float uh salary developer four thousand five hundred okay we can do directly into a print ln let me show you so if i want to ask is salary manager equals to salary developer? So I can just use it double equals. And then uh, let's start. The order doesn't matter. So in my case here, I have the same. So make sure that you have salary manager, salary developer, but the order doesn't matter. Now, if I execute this, control shift F10, you will see that we have false. But what if we want to store somewhere else? Well, as you can see, the result will be a boolean. So we cannot use anything else aside from a boolean type right here. So is salary manager greater than developer? Now we have everything that we need to know in one message. How do we actually have the value stored? Basically, just salary manager is greater so greater is like this so the salary manager is greater than the salary developer we can now just remove here and let's just do this because otherwise it will be only one uh, like a lot of true and falses then the same variable let's check control shift f10 and is salary manager greater than developer? True. Then we can do here is greater or equal. And then greater or equal, greater or equal. Control D to duplicate the line. And then we just replace the variables. It's getting pretty big. Let's hide this one. Then Control Shift F10. So it's true. Then is lower. Let's 
I'm copying here. You can write it down. I'm just doing shortcuts. Sometimes I forget that I'm teaching. So just you can copy or you can write. I highly advise you to write it down. Just otherwise uh, we would have like one hour video here. So a salary manager lower. Let's put it here. Lower than developer. So salary manager is lower than the developer. And then is less or equal uh, than developer. So less or equal, less or equal. And then we can do exactly the same thing. We can just select and then press Ctrl D and make sure you press enter here. So I'm just giving some space. You see that the algorithm is getting pretty big already. So we copy here, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl V, and make sure that all of them are not gray. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl V. Now we know that we are using all of them because all of them are regular black. Ctrl Shift F10. So the salary manager is not lower and is not lower or equal. And let's add two more here. So is salary manager equal? Equal to developer. Equal, we use twice the equal sign. Is salary manager different? Different than developer. Different is exclamation mark and then equal sign. Again, we can copy these two lines and we give another space. And then we copy here the first one, replace here and here. The second one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl V. Now, if we execute Ctrl Shift F10, you can see here salary manager is greater than the developer, is greater or equal than the developer, true. Is lower, nope. Is less or equal. Actually, lower should be less. So we know. Good question. If I rename here to less, what's going to happen? You see that we have a problem. What is this problem? Now we, this does not exist. That's why it's saying, hey, I cannot solve this symbol because IntelliJ doesn't know what is this. So technically, you can just copy Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then it will work. But let me press Ctrl Z to go back. So I want to rename this to less. So I want to rename here and every place that this is used. So I will press Shift F6 and I want to rename all occurrences. You see that I can rename only the code and all it will include strings. And then just change here to less than developer. By pressing Enter, can you see that we changed everything? This is called refactoring. Now, again, Control Shift F10. And as you can see, it's not less. And then it's equal to developer, no. And it's different, yeah, it's different, but we, we are not telling if it's different for more or less. If you want to check the debug, just put a breakpoint somewhere. It doesn't need to be the first part. You can just put a breakpoint right here. And then when you run this as a debug mode, Shift 9, it will just stop right here. It means that all of these lines, they were executed. And then you already have here some values. So as you can see, these two lines right here is already equaling to true. And then I will keep going. And we can see the values that are stored in memory. So these are all my values in memory and now I can just start branding the values in the console so basically these are the relational uh, operators you have to remember that the result of using the relation operators will always be a boolean if you try to change here to anything else it's not going to be uh, allowed why is that because Java is a strongly typed language it means that Boolean is a Boolean, uh, integer is an integer, float is a float. So we have a type for everything. So I hope you enjoyed. I highly advise you to, to test different things. Uh, of course, you can only compare things that are comparable. 
if you have, for example, string name, and let's say here, hey, it's a uh, William. And then you say, hey, is salary manager greater than, uh, sorry, not name here? Of course, this is not possible. You cannot compare like uh, text with um, with uh, numeric values. So at least the computer is uh, is smart enough. The compiler is smart enough to say, hey, this is not allowed. So don't do it, please. Okay, so this is it. Let's continue with more uh, conditional statements in the next video. Bye-bye.